Hello out there, we're on the air, it's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps and the players bump and the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey Welcome to an undisclosed location in Sault Ste. Marie. It is the Hockey Happy Hour. Hello out there we're on the air. It's Wade Gordon from the Hamilton, Ontario studios calling the action for the Sault Ste. Marie incident. One of the best teams in the CSPHLC so far this season. 11 and 6, their record. They are top of the Ontario division. They've got a difficult task ahead of them today in the Chilliwack Colonels. Second place in the BC division uh, behind Kamloops. They've been outstanding. Uh, Chilliwack coming into this game, a three game win streak. Sault Ste. Marie have lost their last three, uh, which have all been at home, uh, been on, uh, at home as well. Very surprising. Uh, their lead scorer, Lore Carboneau with 10 goals. The, uh, Go up against the center for Chilliwack on the top line, which is Jeff Sharpleet. 11 goals for him. It's good for uh, second in the league. That is, uh, that's enough for second in the league. And here is Gordian Lassard trying to find Breza Venton. And it is kept in. Eric Generet brings it back around. Here is Breza Venton trying to center in. He is taken down to the ice by Eve Vesseril. And up come the Colonels. Patrick Labart by himself tries to get his own rebound. But Bernie Harfer. Was able to just push that puck just out of reach. Uh, would have been a wide open net. Herfer was not able to recover from that uh, as quickly as he would have needed to had the puck been uh, not been cleared out. Back come the incident. Sharp is it taken away from him, but there is a second attempt on goal. I believe it was from Herovich. Herovich has been a strong name as well. 14 points this season for him. <clears throat> He's uh, really come into his own in the teal of the incident. Susan Marie incident. And that's a shot from, well, right from uh, point blank range. The Gordian, was, uh, was that uh, sorry, Bajuko Sharp and Jean Yves Laverdour will sit on it. He's currently ninth in the league in goals against average. Sault Ste. Marie are third in scoring in the lead. 3.82 goals per game at the moment. <clears throat> they have been lighting the beacon quite a bit. Here's Dave Darkatch. He is taken down from behind. And Rob McKechnit brings it back up. Here's the third line for the incident. Crossing it to Robin. Can't get the shot off. And chasing it down again was uh, I think that's Goudreau. Yeah, Ken Goudreau. Goudreau uh, cannot, uh, cannot stay on his, on his, uh, on his feet there. And here's Gravage. He takes a tumble to the ice, trying to keep it in the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the attacking zone. But it squirts back to center ice and back again. Comes the incident. Here's Chad Butch Lane. <laughs> and chasing down and he'll throw a hit in his Jonathan Robin. But he ends up with the, <laughs> oh, the Cardinals. <laughs> what a hit. Just blindsided him. I think Robin threw the pick. Uh, in a way, just sort of blo block the uh, the vision. You couldn't even see it. And dumping it back down into the ice, uh, down to the other end of the ice is Chris Cavage. So the incident looking to make a line change here. The already got their um, their fourth line out there. Shubans, Schmierden, and Paparetti. Schmierden, Jeff Schmierden, uh, five goals, five assists already. The fourth liner and a rookie. He's been uh, a great a great pickup by the incident. But here comes Oven Plurly centers it in to Gary Jahanti. <clears throat> And it is a big stop by Herfer. The first 10 minutes have already 
gone by, and, and this has been a quick game. This has been a, a, a very, uh, very fast-paced game. And again, uh, oh, that was, I think that was, uh, that was Schmierden again, and Lavardur sits on it and holds it, and the Chilliwack Colonels will think things over for a face-off. That might have been the best chance of the game so far. And a huge save by Bernie Herfer. Face-off ends up with the incident. Shart to Filio, who's all by himself. And Lavardur dives on it, but he can't get to the puck, and Filio still has it. Centers it into Herovic. Shart puts it in there, and Lavardur gets it right at his pad. And it is, oh, we're gonna have ourselves a little bit of a scrap here. It's a scrappy do. Oh, punching him, just removing his helmet with your fist. Paul Cluck and Pascal Filio having themselves a little bit of a uh, fisticuffical discussion here. Well, that is our first fight of the game. Still looking to uh, find uh, somebody to go ahead and sponsor it, but uh, I can understand they don't want to have to donate too much money for when all the times it comes up. Uh, that's, uh, we're still looking to, uh, <clears throat> still waiting to try to find somebody who can, um, who can maybe go ahead and uh, sponsor that, but we don't have anyone at the moment. But, uh, and Leo and Cluck served the five minutes. And that was a great opportunity on net from Labart, but Herfer stops it in his tracks. And it's another faceoff. We are almost getting to the end of the uh, first period. It has moved very quickly. Got a little bit of everything except the, uh, the goals so far. Ready to go. Oh, that was wide open, but Herfer able to find the puck and just stay on top of that one. <clears throat> Face off will remain in the Sault Ste. Marie zone. Face off one by Chilliwack. Ridro up to Venice. Labart takes it himself. Brister. He had uh, deflected off the glove the one time, and he scores on the second chance. And Chilliwack take the lead. Dan Queening to Patrick Labart. And it's the opening goal of the game. Labart his fifth, Queening's 12th assist. And the home crowd is silenced for just a brief moment. See uh, on the screen of the secondary assist went to Vadin Venice as well. Venice, his fifth. Well, all we missed in the first, uh, all we didn't have so far in the first in the game was uh, in the first period was a goal, and we got it now. And Carbono coming right in, but Labrador stands strong and prevents the game from being tied up. Johnny Blabardur for the Chilliwack Colonels, one of the uh, top top goaltenders in the league last year. The Chilliwack Colonels did make it all the way to the championship finals, losing to the Shikatimi for Brigade. And Labrador was a large part of that performance last year. He hasn't put the numbers up quite uh, comparable to last year just yet. But again, we are only, what, 18 games into our season. There's still plenty more to play. Here's Robin trying to put it on there, and Labrador just parries it wide. Venice being held up by Goudreau. And trying to center it in, but here's Randy Ogquest. He's got to get it out of his zone, or else they're going to have a four check to handle. And Venice 
clears it up to the uh, cross ice to Labart. Loses it at center ice to Robin, and here come the incident yet again. That is Rob McKechnie right in front of goal, but taking it instead is Jonathan Robin and Lavador prevents both opportunities from turning into a tying goal. 2.27 to go in the first period. My name is Wade Gordon on the action from the Hamilton, Ontario studios. This is the CSPHLC Hockey Happy Hour at an undisclosed location in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. This is the Canadian Semi-Professional Hockey League of Canada. And action from two of the top teams, the Chilliwack Colonel second in their division, the BC division. Sault Ste. Marie lead the Ontario division. That's a shot right on net. Labrador takes it easily. Didn't have any sort of uh, lift to it, I don't think. And the Colonels will dump it in. Here's Gendromp. Bringing their own attempt to Dedicel. Back up again. Here's Schmierden trying to find Gendromp. Leaves it into Schubans and he scores! And there's the tying goal. Bruce Schubans. His fourth goal of the season. And it's the fourth line of the incident that tie this up with 30 seconds to go. Schubans. Beautiful feed from Gendromp. And we are tied up at one apiece. What a goal that was. Just sets it up nicely for him. And he says, well, I will absolutely take that go top shelf. Jeff Schmierden getting the other assist there. Schmierden, that is his sixth assist. Gendromp his fourth. And of course, that is goal number four for Bruce Schubans. And here come the incident yet again, trying to get something in the dying seconds. Carbonell puts it on net. And just as Labrador holds on to it, we get to the end of the first period of play. A lot of action, fight, a couple of goals. We're tied at one. Heading to the second period in just a few moments. Don't go anywhere. The Hockey Happy Hour is just getting started with this second game of the evening. Join us for the second period in just a, oh, just a few. We are back with the second half, uh, second period of action. Here at an undisclosed location. This off is won by Chilliwack. Vadim Venice moves up to Sharpfleet. Chilliwack took the lead. Thanks to Patrick Labart. In the, third, last, in the last minute of the period, the incident struck and tied this up. So we head to the second period, one apiece. Jeff Sharpley puts it on net. Bernie Herfer gets rid of it to Eric Jenneret. And here come the incident yet again. Stopped in front of uh, the home bench. And oh, good, good pass. Good stick work by Dan Queen and getting it free and putting it right where it needed to be. And here's, oh, that was Breza Benton with a shot. A big stick save from Lavador. He has been busy today. That's a huge hit, but Herovich holds on to it. Inside two. Oh, goodness me, that was Pascal Filio, and he hits the post. Filio, and the pressure is coming on from the incident. One on one, and it's Labernarger, I believe. But they get back, and they stop him. Herovich retrieves it, and the incident regroup. 
While some line changes happen, here's Phil Yo trying to catch them on the break. Trying to catch them on the change to Herovic. That stop, that barely gets the Lavra door. Chadwick's blade trying to chase it back down behind his own net. Langloy ends up with it. Uh, but it's lost to Blaine. And um, back up come the incident yet again. That just squirted right past the crease. Took a deflection, lost all its momentum, but Labrador had to keep an eye on that one just to make sure it didn't uh, didn't find its way to the back of the net. Here's Ivish. Jim Ivish loses it back to neutral zone. Offside if it crosses yet again, but here it comes. Neil Gendrop to Goudreau. Goudreau puts it in there. Neil Gendrop cannot get to it. As Labrador puts a glove back onto it. And the play will stop. 12.38 to go in the second period. And what is turning out to be another great day of action in the Canadian Semi-Professional Hockey League of Canada. Face-off is won by the Colonels. They dump it all the way back in. Chasing it, it well, chasing it is, uh, was David Bromang. But he also just goes flying right into the uh, into the boards and takes out a, uh, a, a an incident player as well in Teal. Here is Jonathan Robin trying to put something on net. Doesn't even get there. McKechnit chasing it down, takes a tumble. Jahanti loses his footing. Here's Goudreau again to Robin and it's dispossessed. And Bromang brings it back up here again. Well, the pressure is alleviated just for a bit. Here is Yves Besserel back behind his own net, being chased down by Rob McKechnit. And here's Plorley, Oven Plorley for the Cardinals. Takes a big hit by, I believe that was Eric Generet. Here's Shubans again has the goal for the incident, but he loses it to Venice. And back up come the Cardinals, who's one on two, but he's got some support. If he can hang onto the puck, he cannot hang onto the puck. Chasing it down is. Shoe bonds, and once more, it's just, it's been just stop versus stop, back and forth here. Dan Queening bringing it back up. He's got support from Labart, who is the goal scorer for Chilliwack. He cannot even find him on that one. Queening getting just harassed by Gravaggi. He puts something up there. I think it hit the post. I heard a ping. Carboneau is there to clear it back out to Schmierden. Gravage brings it up. And tries to dump it all the way back to Carbono, who's back all the way in his zone, recovering from that hit. Here's Schmierden trying to take a slap shot. Ridrow gets in the way, just stuffs the attempt. And Venice back up. The defense from these two teams. Uh, statistically not fantastic. That's a great slap shot by Vadim Venice. Misses, goes wide, and tra trails all the way back down behind the Chilliwack goal. Jimmy Vish takes the clock. And here comes Labanarger yet again. And somebody takes a tumble at his uh, number 74. That is uh, Tanko Dedesel, defender. Hmm. You know, statistically, these two teams uh, haven't been lighting things up as far as defense. But uh, when it comes to, uh, we're putting this, in this game, they are really just canceling each other out. They know their opponents very well. It was gloved down by Labrador. A nice wrist, or a nice fancy wrist shot. They'll hold on to it and stop play, take a breather. And we will have, and there's Bernie Harper just stopping a critical attempt on goal as we head in front of the Chilliwack net for this face off it's won by the incident Gendrop plays it over to Dedesel feeds it in Langlois finds it <laughs> and back come the Colonels Delarac to Durkach there's a lot of bodies in front of the net Gendrop is able to just pick it right off of Dave Durkach's stick and here come the incident the game he's taking a tumble it was Martin Herovic big hit put in there by I think that was Labernarger so that was Pat Rudrow with the, with, the, with the hit. I'm my mistake. I'm sorry on that one. Herovich dressed right, finds himself with the puck right in front of net. Tries to just slide it right in under the nose of Labrador, but he gets to it and stops play once more. Those are just some big hits. So that was actually Barf Guy. That was Pat Rudrow. It was Barf Guy with the hit. Just laying into him. And uh, does the, un, uh, the unintentional splits. Never something you want to find yourself doing. 
Grindles gets hit right in front of his own net, but is able to get the puck away and out of danger. But it is not clear just yet. Goudreau to McKechnie tries to center it in, cannot get there. All the bodies are just chasing the puck. They gotta find some some sort of uh, formation here. Shot from distance, and who oh, chasing it down was Eve Vesseril. Dirk catch to Langloy to alleviate the pressure just a bit. He is taken down again. Chasing it now is Goudreau. Keening has it. Goudreau able to slide it back out, and Robin back on the charge yet again, waiting for his teammates. Crossing the blue line and dumps it in, but takes a hit in the process. Here's Goudreau. Shot from distance by, that was from, I think that was from Matt Hecker. And it's it's wide. We are down to less than a minute to go in the second period. We're still tied at one here. Sharpleek to Queening. Queening, big split save by Herfer. And he's trying to watch his near post and trying to clear the player out of his own crease. It ends up back with the incident and bring it back up as Matt Hecker yet again. He's got an option in Brezaventon if he can find it to him. Mekeknet to Gravaz. They try to put something in there, but the buzzer sounds. The horn sounds. And as there's a tumble down to the ice, we head to the third period of play. We're all tied up at one goal apiece. And it is poised to be a thrilling third period of action. Will we have an answer after three periods? Or will we need more? We'll find out. Final period of action here from an undisclosed location in Sault Ste. Marie. The Chilliwack Cardinals looking to extend their winning streak to four games straight. They would have really run rough shot on their tour of Ontario. Taking four or five games. The Sault Ste. Marie incident. We'd be happy to see this, uh, this visiting set of teams head back west to British Columbia. They have lost their last three straight. And they recover, Lord Carbono tries to put something in there, but doesn't even get the shot off. And back up come the Colonels, it's two on two here. With Ridrow and Labart, and that shot goes wide. Ridrow recovers, tries to put something in there, loses it off his stick, and back up come the incident. Carbono crosses the center ice, and has Brezaventin looking for extra help. He's got Eric Jenneret as well, picks it himself, loses his, uh, somebody lost the stick, I thought that was Brezaventin. There was just a, a very uh, theatrical fall. Uh, just loses his, his uh, yeah, just lost his balance in a very big way. That's why that was like just a domino effect. Generet to Filio Herovich. The incident keeping it in the zone. Here's Gujo trying to put it in there. Oh, it's deflected by Vadim Venice, it almost goes towards the goal as well. Here's Cluck all by himself, takes a big hit from Matt Hecker, and Generet recovers. Back up with the puck come, the incidents, Goudreau, Ken Goudreau all by himself, loses it, recovers, here's Filio, takes a wrister, and the rebound, and Aravich scores! Well, there's the go-ahead goal at the moment. Martin Harovich. And it's a two to one game.
Perovic getting his fifth goal of the season. Plenty of time to play. And here's Cluck going in by himself. Labernarger. Oh, and big dive from Herfer. There's a penalty coming up against the incident, so the Colonels will go on the power play. Labernarger has it to Cluck. Rister, and it just misses the glove, touching it up finally. And we've got a slash call coming against. Chris Gravage. First power play of the game. For either side, actually. And, uh, well, hate to be the bearer of bad news here, but uh, neither side have uh, fantastic power plays. Chilliwack, 18th in the league. Only two power play goals this season. Sault Ste. Marie, uh, 15th in the league uh, when it comes to killing penalties. They have allowed eight goals when on the penalty kill. So far we're a minute past it and Gendrom trying to bring it back up for the incident. And they are really pushing hard. Robin going for the shorthanded goal. Unable to do it. Lavador has to stand up big but here they go. They got to come back. There's three coming back now and they stop in the neutral zone, they stop Labart immediately in the neutral zone. Labart trying to come back with it. Schmierden has it. The penalty has been killed. And back up come the Colonels, even strength now. Romang with the shot right at the pads of Herfer. Handed to him right by Jeff Sharpleet, a name we haven't said much today. He's the leading scorer for the Colonels. Has not been doing much of anything today. Uh, his teammate, uh, his line mate, Patrick Labart, has the one goal for Chilliwack. Play will stop here. And there we saw that was just a great opportunity on net for the Colonels. Didn't really have many chances. Didn't have many chances uh, to put it on net. During that power play, Chilliwack winning the face off. Here's Cluck to Labernarger. Mike Labernarger bringing it back up the ice. And he's got Randy Ogquest and Paul Cluck to help him out. Ogquest chasing it though. Back to the point, that is Vadim Venice with it and Pat Ridrow at the far end of the ice. Slap shot and one-timer from Paul Cluck. And it doesn't even make it to the net, it takes a deflection on the way in. Brezaventin trying to clear it out to Max Hecker. And here's Hecker getting uh, a little stick friendly. Here's Lassard trying to get in there. Big stick poke away by Labrador to just move the puck away from him. Stays in the zone, but back up come the Colonels. And it is Jonathan Delaract. Big body check coming in. And oh, that was that was a shot from Ogquest. And well, I think Paul Brezaventin said he didn't quite like that too much. We're gonna go ahead and move the uh, the counter back down. Because otherwise we'd uh, we'd not see the delicious, delicious violence. Wrestling one another back down to the ice. And Paul Brezza Vented really trying to just amp up this crowd. He saw that hit put in and said, Nope, we're going to go ahead and have ourselves a little bit of a. Uh, and the referee is going ahead, and I think that might have been. Uh, yeah, Ogquest is out of here. Ogquest. That looks like a game misconduct for him as well. So Chilliwack will have the last nine minutes and change without Randy Ogquest, left winger from their uh, second line. As that is a game misconduct and now it's a five minute major power play for the incident is all gone wrong for the uh, for the Colonels. <laughs> Game misconduct for Ogquest. And uh, we'll get we'll get we'll get word on what the penalty probably was, whether it was interference or whatever. Is Lassard from the chance. Carbono retrieves the 
Rebound, Herovich's shot is wide, Schmeared and comes back with it, loses it right before he tries to center it in, and it is cleared all the way down. And under three minutes to go in this five minute power play. A major power play, and Herford will sit on that one as Gillette try to get something going. They have to, they have to, they're down a goal. 6.36 to go as we have a stoppage to play. Face-up will happen in front of Bernie Herfer's net. The Sault Ste. Marie incident. Have the lead, a slim one, a slender margin as it is, two to one. Just Philly will bring it back up. Two minutes and five seconds left to go on this five minute major penalty. Chubans puts it a wrister in there and Labrador reads it perfectly. Chubans with his own rebound after it is uh, pushed wide. Filio tries to put a shot in there and it's just deflected and cleared back out by the Colonels. Labrador has been outstanding today. Uh, open floor the end, they score on the short handed! Paul Cluck! We are tied up. A shorthanded goal on the break. They get it past Herfer. And Chilliwack. Well, their penalty killing is fourth in the league. Cluck provided by Plurley. That is Cluck's first uh, shorthanded goal of the season. His sixth goal overall. And we are tied up with 40 seconds left to go on this power play for the incident. They've already allowed a goal. They have another 20 some odd seconds left to go. Chasing it down is Tanko Dedesil. And back one more chance, I think, with the odd man, with the uh, the extra man. Herovich just puts it in himself. Tries to get his own rebound, but it deflects. Dedesil, oh, pushes it into Filio, but La Vordor ends the five minutes with a big save and his team are tied up sending this game to overtime if it stays like this we have 353 to go we are even strength face off is won by the incident they tried to slide it in but nothing doing there and here come, well, the, the momentum is now with the Colonels. Labart trying to set him, he's got the first goal for the Colonels. So he's looking for number two, loses it, and Filio brings it back out to the neutral zone. To reset, and get a breather. Chris Bravage helping him out. And here's Brezaventa, and he's got, he's got an opening. Brezaventa to Goudreau, big save by Lavardour. And again, the Chilliwack Colonels goaltender puts in a huge effort. Dan Queening has it robbed by Butch Blade. Finds it all the way up to Lure. Carbono takes a massive hit. And it's a neutral zone battle, but it slides all the way back down to the Chilliwack zone. Green Venice picks it back up. And oh, we're going to have ourselves another fight. It's Carbono. Or is it Breza Benton again? Oh, it's Breza Venton again. And that time it uh, goes in favor of, well, it looks like Dave Durkach, I think, with the fight. Yeah, Brezovin puts that nasty hit in from behind, and uh, Durkach takes a bit of offense to it. The Brezoventin, five for fighting. Dave Durkach, five for fighting with a minute and three seconds to go in a in regulation in a tied game here. Herovich has it after losing it. Well, that was Gordian Lassard, and it's coming back up with the Colonels. One timer, they score! Oh, it's Mike Labernarger! And the Colonels potentially have come from behind. Clock with the feed. Labernarger puts it away. And the line that would normally have Randy Ogquest in it if he weren't 
sent out for the game misconduct earlier this period have now taken the lead with seconds to go in this one. Labanarger's third goal of the season. Cluck and Vesserl with the assist. Cluck's sixth assist. Vesserl's sixth as well. Here come the incident yet again. Big glove save and gets rid of it by Labrador. The net is empty. Herfer is at the bench. The sixth attacker is on. Droindel's trying to get it out of the zone. He just has to find it to give it to somebody. Takes it back to neutralize. Takes it all by himself. Puts a shot that is woefully off target. I think he just wanted to get rid of it and kill some clock. Did Droindel's 15 seconds to go. Big interception there. Sharp fleet bringing it by himself. Fans on the shot. And here he is again. Mats Hecker chasing it down. Last opportunity if they can even get it off. They cannot. And it's going to be a fourth straight loss for the Sault Ste. Marie incident at home. The Chilliwack Colonels, a four game win streak on the road in Ontario. They get the win. They come from behind to win this one in the last six minutes of the game. A 14, a six, a tying goal with five and a half to go on the penalty kill. And the winning goal with less than a minute to go with 49 seconds left to play. That's it for us today. We'll see you again next week. I'm Wade Gordon for the Hockey Happy Hour, and hey, let's do that hockey again sometime, eh?